Hi everyone, this is Lucian for Out of This Binary and this week we are talking about relationships. Yep. Relationships can be really awkward and can be really great depending on how they go but finding out you are trans in the middle of a relationship can change things like in such big ways and that's basically what I'm going to talk about on this video in many levels. Going back into my history, I kind of found out, start finding out I was trans like two years ago. It was the beginning of 2014 when I had just graduated and just started realizing something was wrong and yay, maybe I was trans. At first, I kept this to myself because it was a time in my life I wasn't really interacting with my friends anymore because I have I had left college and I was basically at home. Yeah, I, I was kind of working, but I didn't really interact in my everyday life with other people, especially my friends. So I pretty much kept that discovery to myself and that whole process to myself. The first person I talked about it was my girlfriend. It was in the end of 2014, like October or something. And we were about to travel to Germany and we were going to be speaking in English to so many people. And I kind of came out to her by telling her like, yay, hey, you know, we are going to Germany and we are going to be talking in English. And I kind of wanted to you to refer to me, uh, not as she, but could you please use they pronouns? And um, yeah, it was a really uh, quite an awkward coming out because she she wasn't aware of this entire pronoun discussion and she didn't really understand what I was saying. But then I had to explain and she was like, eh, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, I, I'm going to try. But it kind of turned out uh, she didn't try. Uh, for many reasons, I, I don't blame her, but after that, uh, she started being really transphobic towards me in so many ways, I think. Okay, I don't really blame her, because I know it's hard, we are not educated to know what trans people are, we are not educated to deal with trans people, but I don't know, I kind of understand her side into being kind of freaked out about my coming out but at the same time it was kind of hard for me because it was a hard moment for me like realizing all that stuff about myself and not knowing what to do about myself and I kind of needed the support of someone I trusted which would be her and she wasn't there for me and yeah it, it was kind of awkward if I look back at it, but well, anyway, it's it's in the past now. So she had this bad reaction to me coming out as trans, and I am not really the kind of person who easily opens up with close people. Not even my parents, not even closest friend, not even my girlfriend. And in, in the matter of fact, coming coming out to her was really hard for me and when he, she reacted bad I became really afraid of coming out to other people so for a while for a couple months I was really trapped up into my own head with all that stuff and not knowing what to do with all that stuff and I was like in internet communities and internet forums talking to people but I couldn't talk to anyone in my real life about that because I, I was really afraid of what was going to happen. I was really afraid that other people would react like sh my girlfriend did and yeah uh, so I, I kept it even more to myself but eventually of course I came out to my mother and I didn't think it would be bad Although I was afraid, of course, and my mom and my dad, of course, they are really cool people. They are really open to everything, and they were really cool about that. Uh, they said, "Yeah, okay, whatever." But then there was that 
that stuff uh, when you come out and it you you are telling them something really important about yourself and they say yeah whatever you are it's okay and uh, it kind of seems like they don't really care about that they are not really listening and I know they they don't really mean bad but I I just didn't this whatever reaction wasn't really what I needed back then uh, but yeah, anyway, it, it's better than a bad reaction, of course. Yeah, so anyway, that's what we have. So, my relationship with my wife was kind of full of ups and downs as I came out as trans. And uh, there was like one year, uh, about one year, she was really, really awkward towards me. Like, she was saying things like, Oh, you're never going to be anything other than a girl. And every time she saw me reading transition things and trans things, she would be really awkward. I, I don't really remember what she did because I I, I've, I have kind of suppressed those memories. But yeah, anyway, it was really a hard time. And it was last August, she finally started accepting me as a trans person because a friend a mutual friend of ours he kind of suggested us to watch Laura Jane's Grace she has kind of a web series about trans people and this is really awesome I think I have recommended it in another video in the past but I'm going to put the link down here anyway but Laura Jane Grace has this awesome show and his friend recommended that we watch it. Um, this is a friend my girlfriend really, really likes. Um, although I had been trying to tell her the same things over and over again for months. When he told her that, she finally listened. And we could finally watch the videos together. And we could finally start talking about... Okay, being trans is not really bad. It can be done. It can be dealt with. <sighs> and then things started getting better. And now we are not like in the perfect place. But we are so much better. Sometimes we still have some fights about it. But basically she's aware that I'm going to have top surgery. And there's nothing she can do about that. And about hormones, kind of talk about it, but I I rather keep it inside and then uh, wait a little bit to discuss it. But I'm I'm taking one day at a time, one step at a time, and it's it's going quite fine. I don't know if this relationship is what I want to have for my entire life, because. She's a cis person and I see she's trying really, really hard to be good and to uh, keep up with me. But sometimes when we are so different, like a cis person and a trans person, sometimes trying your best is not enough. It's not exactly what I need. And sometimes uh, I feel just really exhausted about having to explain everything and having to accept everything from her and having to accept that it's so hard for her and sometimes I just wish I had someone like me to be with and to and to deal with and it would be so much easier I think but I don't really know so romantically and in this relationship situation I'm just kind of dealing with it as it goes because I don't really know where I'm going we have so many good things together but we have bad things together of course everyone does but as a trans person I don't know if that's what I want but I I'm not really like oh I don't want that so I'm just waiting and thinking about things and realizing what I want yeah yeah well, about other relationships with my friends, it has been really awesome. My friends are... I don't have that many friends, 
but the ones I have are really loyal and they have changed pronouns and they are doing awkward things as people do, like especially when we live in such a gendered language as Portuguese, there are some strategies that are like clearly cis people strategies, but they're trying that and I really appreciate that. I really appreciate they try to understand my gender and they respect my gender, even though they don't fully understand. I, I see they, not, they don't fully understand, but they are so amazing. I haven't really lost any friends during my transition. Um, even in my family, I haven't really come out to them. Like, I told my mom and my dad, but my extended family, I didn't really tell, yay, people, hey, I was, I'm trans, I'm changing my name, I'm taking off my boobs and everything. No, it's, it's really too demanding of my emotional energy, and I just rather don't do that. And yeah, even though I told my mom and dad, I'm not really closed about those things, those those trans things with my family. Like, most of my family has me on Facebook and I'm pretty open. I don't, I don't publish a lot of things on Facebook, but I also don't hide things. So when I got my warrant to legally, legally change my name, I have published a photo like, yeah, me and my warrant, like so cool. And everyone kind of saw it. And a part of my family chose to ignore it and not just not mention it anywhere. But some of my relatives, like my aunt and my cousin and some some people I find really amazing, they came to me and asked like what what's going on? What what's this? And then I told her I told them and they were really great about that. They were really like, yeah, okay, uh, it's probably going to be hard because I don't really know what's going on, but yeah, I'm going to try my best. And I, I really know they are going to try their best because because of what they say to me after that and the way they, they behave and everything. And yeah, so I don't really mind about the part of my family that really ignores it. I prefer them ignoring it than being awkward towards me. But yeah, I don't I don't really give space for people to be awkward with me. If they chose to, it's it's kind of an active choice of them. Like I'm not pushing anything into them like, yeah I am trans. You have to deal with it. And they and then they say, no, I won't deal with it. I'm just like, yeah, I'm trans and whatever, I'm living my trans life here and if you want to join it, okay, if you don't, whatever. And that's basically it. If you want to send an application to Out of This Binary, please send it. There is a link down here. We are probably going to take a while to watch your application, but we are going to and we are going to respond it, yeah. And if you have topic suggestions for us to talk about, please leave it on the comments. And if you have a sudden need to say how much you love us, please post it on the comments because we are going to be really happy to read it. Yay! So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and sorry for being awkward and bye!